Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show how I make crock pot steak. This is my crock pot steak prep. Um, it also comes pre-cut, so if you don't feel like cutting up your own steak, it does come in like a stew packaging, so you can just pick that up. Um, I do prefer to cut my own steak, and I used um, the sirloin cut, so you can use any cut you like, but it does come pre-cut if that's what you are into or you don't have time to cut yourself. These are the spices that I used, crushed red pepper, crushed rosemary, onion powder, beef broth, steak seasoning, garlic, and black pepper. There is some black pepper in the steak seasoning. If you don't want to use the extra black pepper, just take it out. Um, the onions will go in last once the meat is partially cooked, since it cooks fairly quickly. So this is the marinated steak pieces the next day. I've washed my hands, I also have gloves on due to the blood. And we are going to transfer the steak pieces into our wok pan. And we are cooking our steak in the wok pan. I'm going to wait about 10 minutes before I start stirring it. The meat does not have to cook all the way. I would say at least medium rare. It's going in the crock pot, so you can cook it to your liking. I like well done, um, but of course it's gonna cook well done anyway in the crock pot. But if it's at least medium rare when you're done, um, it's good to go in the crock pot. And I have this on medium heat. And as you can see, the meat does cook quicker with the lid, but it is not mandatory. I use the McCormick's brand for my gravy mix. Um, you can use whichever brand you prefer, but I just prefer McCormick. It's, their brand is very tasty to me. Um, they recommend one cup of cold water per pack. You don't have to use all four packs. It just depends on how much um, steak you're making. I'll probably end up using three. Um, and they, it comes in the low sodium and also regular. So depending on um, health issues, you may want to go with the lower sodium. Um, I also put a little bit of beef broth in mine just to kind of give it a little more flavor. Like I said, you might want to watch the salt um, in all of this. So just kind of be mindful of that. And we are going to make our gravy mix. And it is one pack of gravy mix per one cup of water. The packs on the back say one pack of gravy mix to one cup of cold water, but I actually do mine on the stove. So I do one cup of hot water per one pack of gravy mix. I'm going to show you how I do mine on the stove. So I wash my hands, the water has come to a light boil, so we are going to add the gravy packs in. And then once we get them all in, we're going to stir. And like I said, one cup of water per pack. So how many packs do you use one cup of water? We have washed our hands. As you can see, the gravy is on medium heat and we're just stirring to make sure there's no clumps. And then we are going to transfer to the crock pot. We have a nice clean crock pot, so now we are going to transfer the gravy from the stove to the crock pot. Also, some people just do their gravy in the crock pot. If you want to do that, that's absolutely fine too. You can just pour your cold water and your packs of gravy inside of the crock pot and you can stir it on warm heat while it's in the crock pot. It's just kind of whatever you want to do, but I find the stove to be a little bit quicker, um, so I do mine on the stove, but it's optional. And our gravy has been transferred to the crock pot. So I've washed my hands again and we are going to transfer the meat into the gravy in the crock pot. And as you can see, our meat is cooking. I cook four hours on high or you can do eight hours on low, your choice. So I wash my hands and I'm adding in my onions. And we're just going to stir it up a bit. 
and this is about an hour before I'm going to turn the crock pot off because the onions cook fairly fast. So about an hour before you turn the pot off, you add your onions. And if you're wondering what side I used with the steak, it's these turkey flavored Glory Greens.